I'm Andy Parkin, Managing Director at the multi-award winning SpeedScreed. Today I would like to talk about the Hygrometer Screed Moisture Test and how it's performed. Why Screed Moisture Test? The single largest failure of floor coverings is too much moisture. Laying the coverings before the screed or concrete is dry enough. Yes, it may look dry, but no matter how many years of experience you may have, the only way to know 100% if the screed is dry enough to bond is to conduct a moisture test. The British standard clearly indicates the need for a moisture test. BS 5325, BS 8201 and BS 8203 for textile, wood and resilient floor coverings respectively. The recommended method would be to carry out a hygrometer screed moisture test. A hygrometer is used to measure the relative humidity of the air contacting the screed. It's done over a small volume and the air is isolated from the surrounding air. A series of tests are performed to ensure that the relative humidity isn't more than 75% for most floor coverings. A maximum of 65% relative humidity is permitted for solid timber floor coverings. To perform the hygrometer screed moisture test, a digital hygrometer is required. Also, you'll need an isolating box with butyl uh, sealing tape and a data sheet to cross-check the values. Digital hygrometers are able to measure the relative humidity as well as the air temperature. The test begins with ensuring that any external methods of drying the screed are turned off at least four days before the test is performed. The floor should be clean and free from any dust particles. Getting some insight into the property certainly helps to determine the areas where you should be performing the test, with the least ventilated areas being the obvious choice to start with. Now, position the digital hygrometer along with the insulating box on the floor and seal the edges with the butyl tape. If the butyl tape is unavailable at any time of the test, any kind of waterproof putty can be used. It is crucial to ensure that the instrument is turned off because the air inside needs to reach the moisture equilibrium. Once the instrument is positioned, completely seal it off and leave it. If the surface is uneven, make sure to use at least two layers of tape so no air can escape. Leaving the instrument overnight is a good practice. Once it is time, the actual hygrometer screed moisture test can begin by turning on the instrument. The ideal time to wait before the first reading uh, is taken is four hours for a 50 mil thick screed. The thicker the screed, the more time should be allowed to pass. A trick to reduce the time of the instrument uh, sitting idle is to seal the floor with polythene sheets or rubber mats at least three days prior to the test. Once the mat is removed, place the instrument in the centre immediately and seal it off. Moisture equilibrium will be achieved within four hours in this case, but leaving it overnight is best practice. Hygrometer screed moisture test is an essential step before installing floor coverings. It will determine whether the floor is ready or not to receive floor coverings. Depending on the results, further actions may be required. We love to help. Contact us.